Good morning, everyone. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Omori. Uh, last time we did some things, and now we're going to do some more, I imagine. Gotta have my coffee. All right. Um, I took a tiny break and also went to bed. Mark of anger and sadness. It's so weird, man. <laughs> you have to pardon me, I'm a little backlit because it's the day and I don't have particularly amazing lighting in my room. Mostly because it's just like a regular ass bedroom. My wonderful wife made me a mocha today because I have a doctor's appointment coming up and I have to wait for it to like trigger, so. I mean, I say trigger like it's a video game thing. I'm waiting for my doctor's appointment to happen. So I'm gonna record for a bit. Isn't that fun? I like kind of hate having doctor's appointments. I mean, I've had problems with doctor's appointments for a while now. For various reasons. Um, but like, I hate having a doctor's appointment that's like later in the day. Cause I got up at like eight-ish. Yeah, I got up at like 8 a.m. Which is unusual for me. I'm normally not awake that early. What is it, son? My cat's meowing. Um, and my doctor's appointment is at one. And I feel like, well, I can't do anything. I've just got to wait for it. So I've been like wasting time until that. But like, I should be doing adventures and recording things and stuff. I feel like that's a much better use of it. The little meow, me meows. The little mouths are so cute. They're just like. They look like they're fretting, you know? Your days are over, mister. I gotta get a light, like, here ish or something. Also, let me move myself off of this. There we go. That way I'm not taking up space. I'm gonna try running. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and it like voids them out. So you have to force the encounter. Interesting. That's pretty useful. We already did. I should have just talked to Mari, actually. Might have been helpful. I'm convinced that Mari's going to be like the final boss or something, or at least a final boss. Like, I saw a silhouette that kind of looked like her. She is a nice person in an RPG that I note. Oh my god, you're kidding me, right? She's a nice person in an RPG that I know to be subversive. Like, she's the only one who doesn't have any flaws. Because everyone else has flaws. Even Basil, who's pretty great, is a little cowardly. Blanket. Is that a toy? Is it important? Oh, it must be an equip then. Is 
Soft, fluffy, and protects you from monsters. My speed goes down, but my heart go up. Therapeutic packaging. <laughs> Attack seven, but reduces hit rate. Huh. We'll just head on out, shall we? I can't believe that they did this. They can't get away with this. This is evil. A peculiar face is indented into the wall. You're not sure what it means. I hope that doesn't mean I have to get a key item and bring it back here. Because if that's what it means, then I'm going to be very put out. Right. I hope this is like Omega Sprout Mall. Hey, what's the big idea? I went through all this trouble to isolate myself and you show up and ruin everything. You'd better fix this right now. My God. <laughs> oh, I got a Steam achievement, though. Ah, it was all worth it. It's perfect. Where's the lake, my man? The world lake, the world campsite, junkyard. Let's go speak with Mari. Maybe he had to go somewhere important in a rush, but where would he have gone and why wouldn't he tell us? Hope he didn't end up in trouble and that he's safe. I've been thinking. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We've got these bloody footprints. I know that it might not be blood, but come on. Oh. Hello, shadow child. Okay. Tentacles poking out of the... Where'd my friends go? I figured it was time for another one of these. We've had a few of these. These sequences of like spooky stuff. Like where we play as Sunny and things. But this is uh, the first one in a little bit. Mari's Cookies. They have loved, much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Those might have all been items relevant to the protagonist. There you are, ghost child. Come back here. He's not exactly shadow. He's almost more photo negative. Is it, is it Omori Sprite? It looks kind of like a Mori sprite, but it's difficult to tell with the art style. But that's probably what the intent is. They want people to not be able to... I don't think that's a Mori sprite. Ah, a warm, comforting, red, womb-like light. Oh. Third impact's going on outside, I see. Well, that's none of my business. I wouldn't happen to be... Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. A happy family. Oh, and there's a noose. Spooky. It's weird eyeball man. Okay. Weird eyeball man has basil by the looks of it. Back in the fucking white space. 
All right. Oh, and we're playing Hangman with these. Cool. Omori and the cat. Cat raining blood on other cats. Bathtub. Omori's in it, reading. His laptop is there. Big old snake. Five light bulbs. Okay. This one might be Mari, because she's connected to nothing. This one might be Omori, because he's blacked out. And this one might be Basil. And then these are the other guys. Uh, the cat helping Omori get better. The steak that Sunny ate. And then there's Eyeball Man. I hate this man. This makes me so uneasy. I am waiting for something to happen. Thank you very much. So, the light bulb is a persistent motif in Omori, but in the photo negative world I was just in, it looked more like a noose. God damn it. <laughs> oh man. See, I've got curtains drawn over my window, but they're not particularly awesome curtains. They're all right. Wherever it is, the light bulb is black. It's pitch black inside and you can't see a thing. Like the one in the drawing. All right. Shouldn't have looked. <sighs> Fuck, man. This game's doing things to me. God, it is so dark in my camera. I'm sorry. You can barely see my beautiful face. At that time, I saw everything. These are the pages of Omori's drawing book. When you stood there before. Here before. Was there someone once in white space with Omori? Did you see it too? I got a hiccup. I'm drinking my coffee too fast. I'm sorry. Something behind you. Omori saw that it was Mari. Maybe. Three days left. Bro, what? We're sunny again. Three days until sunny moves. Right, 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 right. It's day. Good morning. Good morning, Chrono. Table lamp. You have a new message from Mommy? Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping I could make it back to see you, but it's the last day of a big furniture sale, and I can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? You're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. That's it. Okay, for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. Old computer, do you want to play blackjack? <laughs> What is... Oh, they're card sharks. I did it. All right. Now, I'll admit, I don't actually know how to play blackjack.
Yay, I won money. What is with the fucking oil rig in the background, man? Cardboard boxes. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Fuck, man. Don't do that. When people knock like that... Oh, my God. It makes me want to get, like, a machete. Hello? Hello? Sonny? Are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend, Kel. <sighs> So I uh, noticed the for sale sign in front of your house, and I uh, heard from my mom you're moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? Aw. He's a dumb, cute little, sporty little boy. The picnic basket. Whoa, you actually came out. He's tan. I guess it makes sense. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, Sonny. I didn't expect you to come out today, so I didn't really have a game plan here. Let's go to hobbies. It's the hobby shop in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? Used to go there all the time when we were kids. Aren't you kids now? Let's go. Oh, man. All right, one second. All right, I don't know why I said one second. It would be a very similar amount of time for everyone else. I just had to adjust that. Oh, God, can... You shouldn't walk in the street, Sonny. That's dangerous. Okay, cool. I was like... Your house has been sold. In three days, you'll be moving somewhere else. I had to turn up my brightness, so now it looks like uh, God is sitting in my... Hold up. I know it's been a while since you've been in my place, but now might not be a good time. My dad's in one of his drunken rampages. Knock, knock. There's no response. Plastic flamingos decorate this yard. They seem to be in good spirits. Another classy white mailbox. Statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. Most religious figures do. No response. I feel a little easier now that Cal is with me. It's a crosswalk. Got the right of way. Future belongs to the dreamers. Hello, preacher. I'm on my way to church, but it's a ritual mind to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had horrible stage fright since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to call my nerves. Hello. Pretty boy. It me. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here help us see put things into perspective. Might they make it a habit to come to this park more often? I guess sometimes all it takes is to relax. To relax is to stop and smell the roses. An artist is diligently sketching away. Whoa, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, hi there. Thank you, I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing, but it looks so real. I bet you could sell that for money. Don't you think so, Sonny? Yes. See, even Sonny agrees with me. I'd buy that from you right now. Sonny, can you lend me 20 bucks? <laughs> thanks. That's nice, but it's not for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Darn, that's too bad. We'll look great on my bedroom wall. You think so? My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sonny. Hi, Kel and Sonny. It's nice to meet both of you. Nice to meet you too, Mincy. <sighs> oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawing's great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sunny believe in you. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. 
I'll, I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around. You got this. Aw. Kale's a meathead, but he is very friendly. A large metal cat. You remember it being a lot bigger. It's a really good XKCD comic where uh, Randall Monroe, author of the webcomic XKCD, for people who don't know if that matter, um, talks about returning to one of his like childhood uh, parks. And he remembered this like slide was super huge and so intimidating he could never go down it. We are recyclists, followers of the Holy Bin. As all have littered, all must accept they have tr their trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. All right, guys. Sure. Um, and so he goes back to this park that uh, he went to as a child to like see this this slide that was super huge in his memories and he was like oh i'm sure it'll just be small because i'm tall now and it was still super huge it was like 30 feet tall shock <laughs> oh hey what's up what you doing here kel you from this part of town oh whoa i didn't expect to see you here jay so this is jay captain of the football team my high school oh they're in high school now i didn't know you played basketball at all i'm here kel time more of a hobby than anything trying out for the basketball team right kel maybe you can teach me some tricks yeah it sounds like fun Maybe another time. My childhood friend Sonny is here leaving town the next few days, so we're all hanging out today. I'll catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set something up next week. Same time, same place. Sounds good. See you then. These are... The jungle gym smells like rusty metal. Okay, so there's like three different worlds going on here. There's like the children world, which I believe is allegorical for the memories of the actual Sonny and Kel and everyone when they were all kids. And that's when Sonny goes by Omori and believes himself to be different. Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a lot of trash around here. You find any, bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly. Let's help the world one step at a time. Oh, like the recycling banner later. Tetherball pole. Oh, man. Sent to this man is indescribable. What are you making that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? His name is Smelly Hobo. And maybe in the actual real world, everyone, like... Okay, maybe... Basil died, got killed when these when these people were actually children in the real world. Old hobo. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Today's such a beautiful day, don't you think? May not have any money, but sunlight is free. Sure is. Praise it. Olive Beanie. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember being this lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. Some things never change. You got trash. Great. I love trash. Two dollars for your help. Oh, so can we go down here and buy some sodies? Vending machine. No. Okay. That's fine. I don't need sodies anyway. Ooh, a fountain. See, so coins at the bottom. Made a wish I would meet my true love one day. Well, you just said it, man. Hey, it's, it's Captain Space Boy. Is that, is that Zagreus back there? Well, here we are at Hobbies. Probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't changed all that much. Same old stuff. Captain Space Boy... Sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks, except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, so Hero is the older one. Uh, but he should come back sometime tomorrow. Still to be a doctor, so maybe we should buy him medicine? That's a horrible idea. Help, I got the gift. Let's look around and see what there is. Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater, Revenge of the Moles 3. Where did M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He don't want to appreciate something like this. Some CDs. You can play them in a jukebox. You want something more sentimental. Colorful girl. 
This place is small, but it has lots of old rare collectibles. Oh, whoops. People come here all the way from the city to shop here. Chock full of comic books. Do these comics bring back so many memories. Just like old times, eh, Sonny? He was never too interested in comics, though. Game called Captain Space Boy's Space Adventure. Costs a dollar to play. Go get Hero's Gift first. We can play later. Capsule Machine. Three dollars to try. Cardboard cut out. Captain Space Boy. Interesting poster. Watch that poster looks so realistic. I bet fighting that thing would be a tough battle. Jackson. Other World Pharmacy. Jackson inches forward. You can't escape. Oh, Sonny's imagining it, just like he did earlier. So what's happening in the real world right now? Am I punching this poster? <laughs> Hello, Sonny? Earth is Sunny. CD fell out from behind the poster. I wonder who hid it there. I guess we can just take it? You got a merry CD. Poster for a new game where you can run around and fight evil monsters on skateboards. Are we on skateboards or are the monsters? Cal, how you been, buddy? Been a while since you came around, hasn't it? A money machine. Poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds. Nothing you haven't seen. 100 Gek starts playing. Sorry. My favorite novel just got a comic adaptation. The main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. Yeah. I've always been fun of these little guys. Hero would get mad at me for spending my lunch money on them, though. It's not in my mind of that. <laughs> right. These regular books? DVDs. A lot of these are just catching dust. Sure, we have most of these at home already. Probably also catching dust. Small figurines. This, yes, this is perfect. Pop a chip, chip off the old block cookbook. Now that's a mouthful. Here to copy this when we were kids, but her dog Hector destroyed it. Oh. He's gonna be happy before he sees it. Before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? $20? This is extortion. I left my wallet at home. Can you spot me? I'll pay back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I know I could count on you. Hey, shopkeep. We'd like to buy this cookbook, please. How you been, buddy? Been a while? Oh, same dialogue. Pop chips, chip off the old block cookbook. I see you have good taste. My brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare to see another fan of pop chips work. I'll leave 20 bucks, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. Here's a gift. Now, we probably also could have just run out of the store with it, but we would have gotten in trouble. Sticky hand! Yes! It's a two star! <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> Let's play Captain Space. I see you have your eyes set on that video game called Sp Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. Popular a few years ago, but it re uh, retains some competitive players today. All over time, I've tried it, but I'll have you know I hold the high score. If you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. Jash Limited. Oh, it's... It's just sideways space invaders. Oh, with like a shotgun blast, though. Crisis averted. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having such a good time in the past. Mission failed. Oh, this just gives you the shotgun blast. Okay.
man. Has there ever been like a HD like Supermax uh, Space Invaders? It would be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? Shoot. Oh, they're accelerating. Captain, we have to shoot a hole through the shield. That's too dangerous. Do as I say. Crap. Oh, well. What's the high score, though? Let's look at me and press. You, oh. Guess I should make room for the new generation. Here's your prize, as promised. Give this out to people I think are really cool. Cool glasses? No, thank you. I just, uh, I just got Death Stranding. Um, as I mentioned, it was recently my birthday, and uh, my wife got me a copy of Death Stranding. And I just got Norman Reedus' cool sunglasses. Hell yeah. Not much to do around the suburbs, huh? How about the Fairway Park? Pass it by on the way here. Sounds fun, doesn't it? We could also go to Geno's. I'm Michael, soon to be traveling musician. Been playing guitar here at the Town Plaza for years now. I'm finally married to move on. Help me reach my goal, anything will help. Hmm, looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. This is the song of his people. The, the other guy's people, though. Oh, interesting. You can go in the menu here. Cal has more health than me. Cal is way stronger than me, actually. Hands. These are all you have. Basketball and Kel's pet rock. It's a Tamagotchi. You've got green hand. Mary CD. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Encourage. Raise the Sunny's attack. Only Sunny. Hey, Gino. I was dreaming about a girl with really big thighs. I'm Ray. Rye? Take pride in being a musical connoisseur. I can tell you who the artist for the track is. machine not working I know the song there's a song but old beardy hey kiddos you cut me on my break then I decide what to eat for a good 10 minutes but I don't know why I'm fussing so much whatever good sure to be good <laughs> what can you do pizza what I can I get for you hero's favorite food oh that's why he's called hero eight eighths of the whole pizza This is making me nostalgic for, like, some reason. Drink orange juice. You ever heard the phrase, orange is the happiest color? That's fine. Applies to orange juice, vitamin C, essential for healthy immune systems. It's an antioxidant that have health benefits by protecting yourselves from free radical damage. $2 orange juice? Sure. Drink orange juice, you'll enjoy it. This is like in Deltarune, where after you go to the Dark World, I think it's called the Dark World? Bakery. Safe food department. Butchery, meat department. Yeah, meat. Oh, I just got it hanging on the racks, huh? But yeah, it's like an Undertale when, or Deltarune rather, where after, oh, the pharmacy. Buy health items there. Produce. I know it's pronounced produce. fix it ah tools 
the sign we finally moved in together. So interesting, isn't it, scene? Yeah, start of the rest of our lives. Time to make our important decision. What color should we paint our house's walls? Anything would work. I like all the colors. What do you think? I could go anywhere, too. Don't worry about me. You can choose Karen. What color would you like? I need to pick a wall color. I'm happy as long as I'm with you. Karen, if we keep doing this, we're going to be stuck here forever. You're right. What if we just close our eyes and pick a color? That works. That way, it'll be impartial. Let's do it. Sounds good. Close your eyes. Wait, hold on. It's okay. You should be the one to do it. I insist. No, Karen, it should be you. What if I pick a color you don't like? We're not getting anything done here, are we? <laughs> I have an idea. Let's get a stranger to help us. Hey, could you help us out? Get a color sample. Make sure it's random. Floral wallpaper sample. What's this wallpaper doing here in the paint section? Must have gotten misplaced. Well, it's not what I'm expected, but I am digging it. What do you think? Wallpaper seems neat. I think it works just fine. Let's do it. Thank you so much for your help. We're both from around the area, but we just moved into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. You're know, having a housewarming party two days from now. It'd be amazing if you could join. So if I remember that and then go there, I will probably have the ability to go to that housewarming party. Maybe get a beer. I'm 14 and I think drinking beer is cool. Omori's oh, in college, so or no, in high school rather. Heroes in college, Omori's in high school. So like, ooh, a coin. All right, let's go back to the pork. Oh, there's children there. Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude, can't help you. You're on your own. Some commotion over there. Let's check it out. Say none of my business. Got to be with her and talk to yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... That's... <sighs> Leave him alone, you bully. Who's there? Oh, just Cal. Grumble, grumble. Why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Why aren't you acting all high and mighty? Don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Oh, cool kids on their <laughs> bicycles and scooters. <laughs> Hi, Chainsaw Man character. Hey, Aubrey. Interesting. This nerd Kel just showed up thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? <sighs> Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here? This is getting juicy. It really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? So... Basil can't be dead then, so that dashes my earlier theory. It must have been nice living in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Whatever. Aubrey. Aw, he's so cute. Please, listen to me. Hey, stop that. Leave alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Uh, Sonny. Come on, we've got to do something. RPG fight. You guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? Two of you against me. How's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on the both of you. Is her bat spiked? That's not cool! You can't do that! We're children! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Sonny has his fists. I was like, is that a knife? He doesn't! He's <laughs> a fucking knife! Dude, you literally said, hey, let's start a fight. Oh my god, he did, did he just stab her for real though? Oh shoot. 
Aubrey, are you okay? You're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. We gotta get you out of here. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. I'm so lost. I can't make theories. I've got an idea in my head. What the hell, man? What the hell, dude? I was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife. We would have... Wait a sec. Give me that. Kel took away your steak knife. Shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. I never put the steak knife away from when I had steak that other night. That's dangerous. Yeah, it, it is. <sighs> Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sonny's here too. Say hi, Sonny. Oh, hey, Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion. Do you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I, I should probably head home. You sure? My, uh, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. I'm sorry to hear that. Let us walk you home. It's been so long since we all hung out. Oh, all right then. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, my cat's in the window. Wrong way. Crosswalk. <gasps> A wormhole. It's not the way to Basil's house. Hold on, wait. Sorry, what was that? Diagonal hours from the crosswalk. Stop sign. Stop sign. Meow. Pinwheel blows freely in the wind. Fire hydrant. It smells like dog pee. It doesn't say that, but I'm embellishing a little bit. Oh, it has all the plants. There's Basil's house. It's that one with the green roof. I'm still kind of freaking out from the fact that Omori just stabbed someone. Or Sonny just stabbed someone. Thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later. Okay. Wait, please don't go. Oh, he's cute. I mean, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? You see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. This photo's meant everything to you. Right, well... Aubrey, she took my photo album. Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she won't give it back. What a scumbag! Don't you worry about a thing. We're gonna go stab her. Okay, thank you. Give him a hug, by the way. About what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Aww. So Kel's much more of a sweetheart in this one. And Aubrey's a little bully girl. Well, I'll see you later. Is this what happens when Hero isn't there to keep everyone together? Get a full bound and fine. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Or, alternatively, a yo-yo. Pail and shovel. Aw, cute. Knock, knock. No response. This house is kind of skeezy. Oh, this one's nice. Knock, knock. No response. So, is this what happens when Hero isn't there to, like, tie everyone together? It just falls apart? Or, alternatively, does Mori only exist in the other world? Or is this the other world? I can't keep my fucking time straight. Um, and is Mori the only thing that ties it together? Diligently sketching. Hello. It's $4 for your trash. Picnic basket.
Oh, man. Hello, ugly child. It's like, Aubrey isn't here. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hand around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil. We gotta get it back. Any way you can help us? <laughs> a caterpillar? Oh. Who, <laughs> where, and what now? What'd you do that for? Ah, if it doesn't kill that weird knife guy. We're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. Oh. Time for you to meet your doom. We don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? She at the hospital. She got stabbed, bro. See, Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I'll tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, let's sick him, Charlie. <laughs> Angel says mean things about Kel. Charlie's standing there. Sunny attacks Angel. Okay, so I'm back to having my actual fists now. Oh wait, sorry. Sunny. Yeah, just punch him. <laughs> Charlie's standing there. You surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Lost seven juice. <laughs> the fucking sound of a basketball just piling into someone really, really makes it, man. You, you'll pay for this. How could this be? My training is for nothing. Okay, look, he kind of looks like a caterpie. If these are the little antenna things, and this is his little face, and these are the eyes, and then he... That's the shadow, I guess. Oh, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. Ah. Angel, time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Promise is a promise, I suppose. I'll honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town, probably. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around, or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know, and the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. Oh, bro, at summer camp? What? You can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. A Maverick? Oh, no. You mean that weird kid, Mikal? To call him by that name, he would take great offense to that. I see. So it is him. Where can I find him, uh, the Maverick? I'll tell you what I know. But you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about the Gah! Final talk. With the fountain at the faraway plaza, he said it was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Multiple girls? Disgusting. Alright, let's get out of here. This is very... It, this reminds me of Silent Hill 1, of all things. Um... In Silent Hill 1, the rules of the overworld weren't very... The overworld and the underworld, like the other world, weren't very obvious. Then I told him it's not Maverick. It's the Maverick. Oh, Mr. The Maverick, you're so funny. Woohoo, what an amazing story. The Maverick. Girls, please, enough of me to go around. He's got like a Donkey Kong boss theme. <laughs> Cal, what are you doing? Ah! This isn't Cal. My arch nemesis. Here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this. You're looking for Aubrey? Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. You know where she is or not? Get with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me? I, Mr. The Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikael. Don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you wad! Don't be a chicken! 
are they gonna do this? Okay then. Come on, Sonny, let's kick his ass. <laughs> Kale, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Yeah! Sunny is like this... Sunny is like a... There's this thing I talked about in some forums a couple weeks ago. Of like the concept of a villain who isn't really evil, he's just really strong, and other villains just kind of steer him into the problem, you know? Like, hey, this guy's really tough. Let's just kind of point him in the direction we want him to go, and... You know, let's just aim him towards the heroes and hit him on the ass. It's just getting started. And that's kind of what Sonny is right now, you know? He's just this thing that Kel pulls into the range of other enemies and uses as a weapon, you know? bragging to his adoring fans like Sonny is Kel's stand right here I must tell you while you're fooling when I'm playing sports I was honing my techniques just for this moment you'll never reach my level of skill going down Kel is that all you've got I've only been using 10% of my power behold my final form nothing's happening this is probably going to become a boss fight later though like a real one Is Sunny even real? I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm way too cool. You're nothing but a loser. <laughs> Just the sound of the basketball is so good. It's only a matter of time where he tires himself out. My victory's imminent. Yeah, they'll tire themselves out from overpunching. <sighs> I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. It's a unit of distance, idiot. Even that dumbass kid in Pokemon admitted as such. <laughs> no. It's impossible. Improbable. Absolutely inconceivable. Masaka. Bakuna. I'm gonna need this for the next one. There we go. I assume that this health will carry over since it did last time. <sighs> yeah, no. Won't let it end like this. I'll use my final technique. He just pulls out a gun. No. Can't be over for me. People of Earth. Lend me your strength. Yeah, what is with that guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth ten bucks. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Ladies, please come back. I have more money. <sighs> He's got a wig. Cal. There is no one here by that name. I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is and we're, we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is and I'll tell you on one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maver. Oh, forget it. Let's go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are maybe, maybe are sugar heads though, so they're probably somewhere near Candy. That boy with the blown wig is so cool. Wish I had that confidence. I should go save. Uh, actually, I'll cut the episode here. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, earlier I said that this is reminding me of Silent Hill 1. In Silent Hill 1, the rules of like the fog world and other world and the real world and the underworld, none of them are very clear. Um, and that's intentional and to the game's credit. Um, and it isn't until things like... 
Uh, even like Silent Hill 2 starts to make it a little more clear. <laughs> Don't drink that stuff. <laughs> he just took my orange juice. That'll show him. No. Okay, it's fine. Well, he's not buying orange juice. What the hell, man? <laughs> And that's what, that's what this feels like. Um, this feels like more of the real world. But it's unclear if the other world is like the past or a memory or an intentionally misremembered thing. But yeah, that'll be this episode. Um, oh my god, I love this game so much. But I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Omori. Uh, bye bye I've got to get to my doctor's appointment. Otherwise, this would go for longer. <laughs>